Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Tabitha Show on Alta TV. My name is Tabitha Chibula, your host for tonight. And with us, we have Episcopal Emmanuel and Richard Bazidenhut, an actor from Tanzania. They will be t talking to us tonight about their involvement with uh, what goes around, comes around, and the great fallen tree. How are you doing tonight? That is good. Excellent. So, What Goes Around Comes Around, I understand, is your first book. Yes. Talk to me about the book. Um, it's about my life. Yeah. Give me more, more sugar in this. Or the title? Yes. Or the title is mean like, what you give is what you can get back. Right. Yeah. And what inspired you to write this book? Um, when I get here in Canada, I was like, I was having a dream to help kids, okay. children and widows. Mm -hmm. So when I was new and I was focused and said, what can I start to get money? If I okay. work, it's not enough to get money from workplace. So <clears throat> I'm looking for a job and I found money. And one day I was, how can I do so I can't forget my dream? I grab a phone call, a home phone, mm -hmm. and I call my cell phone. And I leave myself a voicemail. And I you left yourself a voicemail? Yes. Okay. It, it said, Hey, Emmanuel, this is Emmanuel. <coughs> Don't forget you have a dream oh, to help kids and widows wonderful. back home. So after to leave myself a voicemail. So wherever I check voicemail, I found my voice too. So I keep reminding me if I have a dream. Reminding you to never give up. Keep and going. finally, I found like money and I said, here is in Canada. Yes. You can't get money from somebody if he doesn't give something. So I said I have a good story to tell why I can't just start to write and sell my story to help those kids Absolutely. and widows. Yeah. So this, this book, What Goes Around Comes Around, was more focused or aiming, targeting women, <coughs> widows, to, children. No, to support children and widows, but it's about my story. Them, yeah. But it's about you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What about The Great Fallen Tree? This is your second book? Yes. Talk to me about that one. Uh, the Great Fallen Tree was according again about orphans and widows, okay. because I, I grew up in Tanzania. And okay. I would say, okay, I do something in Congo. What about Tanzania? So Tanzania, I would say, okay, which way can I go to make more money? So this guy, uh, his name is Stephen Charles Kanumba. Okay. Yeah, he was actor, director, producer. He passed away in 2012. Oh. So, and was a big, big guy in Tanzania. So I come out with idea, I contact his family, government, so I can make a story. From this book too, we can find like money to support kids and widows. And awesome. everything was clear and I started the project <coughs> and yeah. That's good. Yeah. So where did you get the idea of even just writing? Because, well, I know for example, I don't know, let's, say, let's take singing. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's born with a singing talent, mm -hmm. um, but some people that have that talent in them mm -hmm. soon or later on in their lives, find out their mm -hmm. talent. How did you discover your writing talent? I always respect um, the war, like the old, old words. Mm -hmm. Like in French we said, uh, les paroles s'envolent, mais les écritures rest. Words fly, but writing stay. Yes. When I was a kid, I always liked to write, like memories. Okay. Yeah, nice. like whatever I do in the morning, mm -hmm. I make memories. If I do mistake, I, mem I make memories. So. When I came to Canada, I was, oh, I like to write. And mm -hmm. here we have like easy way, okay. computer, back home, it was like, and writing. Right. So that's why I can't make myself in this shape. Mm -hmm. But I didn't finish myself. I was writing in Swahili because my English was not good that time. Right. And I found translator in online. I just Google online and find translator in Kenya. Oh, nice. So the book was editing by, by somebody in Kenya oh, okay. and published in state. How long ago was your first book, What Goes Around, Goes Around, released? Uh, it took me one <coughs> year for all processes. Oh, to complete. Because it was 200 pages and mm -hmm. come down to 78 pages. Wow. When I went to the publisher, they are, because they have their own rules, you mm -hmm. can't use somebody else's name. So I have to have everybody letters from my stories. Right. Like I was talking about my dad mm -hmm. and he passed away. I can't find like the letter to give to them. Right. So I have to take out those stories. So it go down to 78 pages. 
Awesome. Yeah. So Richard, yeah. um, what involvement do you have with these books? No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not involved with these books. I'm, I'm here as uh, his partner and colleague. You know, we, we, we make films now. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, w it was about time for him to start bringing his stories out and people see. You know, now Absolutely. we have different people, kind of people. Th these people who read books and people just don't have Watch time to read books, That's especially the, the new generation. They don't have time to read. That's true. Honestly, like you make a movie, yeah, they, 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 they want to, to, to hear or learn about everything in one hour or one and a half hours of images. Mm, and uh, so that's where I came in. Uh, he's, he's, he'd seen me in movies before, Tanzanian okay. movies, okay. and Nigeria too, and Nigerian movies because I've, I've been in a few, I've been in a few in a, in a few projects. And <clears throat> this one time, I was walking down 118 Avenue. Mm -hmm. He comes up to me in his hammer. And for me, when you, you come up. With come to me when you come up to me driving a hammer i get scared of course <laughs> <laughs> of course I, am i gonna get kidnapped or i'm I like understand? what's going on here <laughs> and this guy jumps out of the hammer and is dressed in a in a all black <laughs> wow the guy is walking towards me i'm like dude what's going on he's like no 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 no. are you richard are you richard from from tanzania i'm like yes yes i'm, I'm richard from tanzania okay i'm an author and <laughs> i would like to keep in I, i'd like to take your contact and uh, we, we need to talk and I thought it was a joke because I'd mm -hmm. run into people before. Right. Everybody just wants to become an actor or something, right? right? right. He, he actually proved himself to be really serious. So after a month, he called me and invited me to his house and it was really deep into stuff. And I was awesome. like, okay, cool. So now we can work. Now we're making a film. So how long ago uh, did you guys start working together? We met uh, last year around January. Okay. But we started working, I think, April, April, right? Yeah. April, we, we start sitting down and brainstorming different ideas, what movies we do. He, the, uh, what, what, what comes around goes around is very expensive, it requires a lot of money. So we sat down and uh, I was like, hey, let's start with something simple, something that will not take a lot of money for, for, produ for producing a it. A boost. Uh, you sure. know, yeah, and then we first check the market and from there we can go with bigger projects. Absolutely. Yeah, so we started fresh with a story that he had already in his head but he hadn't written it. Mm -hmm. And we started developing it and bringing in new characters and now we, it's, it's actually, we're almost finishing it, uh, shooting it. So you already started shooting? Oh yeah, yeah. We, are, we are three quarters done. Oh wow, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's looking good, so I think uh, people will like it. It's, it's funny, Absolutely. it's comedy, it's, 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 it's got a few lessons there for everyone. So if people wanted to watch this, yeah. when should they expect the release? It's hard to, t to say because we, we still have to go through the other processes of marketing, go, back, go to Africa, mm -hmm. get a distributor, and everyone has got their own life going on. And we, we don't know what, where these other distributors are mm -hmm. in their life. It, 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 it's many things, it's many things. Like, but we would like it out in the next two months, three months. For sure. Yeah, but it all depends. Uh, it depends on the processes that we have to go through. Right, how it goes. Yeah. So. It, it's a movie or is it a series? It's a movie, and we are okay. talking about series already. Okay. Yeah, yeah, me and him, yeah. We, we are, okay. We 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 we'll, we'll get there. We we're brainstorming. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So um, I know this wasn't really prepared, <laughs> yeah. but what does your team look like? How many people <laughs> are part of your team? Uh, yeah. yeah, kind of, <clears throat> but not really like permanent people because. Right. Because it's, in Canada, it's, it's, it's expensive to really like, keep people in one place. Absolutely. So we are, at the moment, we are, we, we are independent filmmakers. Okay. Yeah, and with time, we, we plan to hold everybody like, in, in, one, in one place. Mm -hmm. So now we check everyone's schedule and plan everything around everyone's schedule, and then we can, we'll go out there and, and do our thing. Awesome. Yeah, but we, are, we have a good team, and we are, we're happy with it. They are committed, but they, they have other lives. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's the first sure. project. It's the first project. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But with time obviously obviously things will grow and Yeah, well, this is just the beginning and we don't we don't have plan B. We we have only one plan in our life. Head for we're that. making these movies and that's it. So Good. we have one plan. Good. And that's what we're focused on and yes, we we we'll, we'll get there. Awesome. Yeah. So Emmanuel, yes. um <clears throat> with not only your your books, your your author life. Yeah. But with your uh, uh, movie life as well, mm -hmm. what are your long-term goals? 
my long term. Mm -hmm. Let's say in five years, where do you see this? What are you trying to accomplish? Uh, in next five years, I see like a big success from my life because I, I never give up for my dream. Okay. I always focus for what, what I want to do. Till when, if it's happen, okay, if it, it doesn't happen, forget about it because business you can get and can lose. Absolutely. Yeah. That's true. Well, uh, I don't know if you have anything that you'd like to add. Well, Any last words? On, on, on our behalf, that was a good question. Yes. To our fans out there and everyone is going to be following us. In the next five years, uh, at the moment we're making movies to penetrate the African market. In the next five years, mm -hmm. we want to be here. We want to penetrate the Hollywood market. Yes. Those are okay. our plans. Okay. Next okay. five years, we, we are really looking high. We are not going to settle for less. Okay. We won't disappoint and we're going to work hard to... To, to, to give you what you want, our fans. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for being a part of my show. Yeah. Thank Emmanuel you too. and Richard. Thank you for my inviting pleasure. us. Thank you for having yeah. us here. Thank you. And thank you, you guys out there, for staying tuned with the Tabitha Show on Alta TV. Um, my name is Tabitha Chimula, your host. Good night.